Okay, here are those um, additional six problems for practice. The answer's over on the side. So again, the idea is when you're solving these problems, what you want to see to do is do you have a constant or not? So on the first problem we had a constant, that's one. A constant's just the number, there's no variable with it at all. This doesn't have a constant. So when there's no constant, you just want the bases to be the same, they are. So the idea is you can just ignore the bases and focus on the exponents and solve from there. So the main thing is do you have to factor or not? Here we don't because these are the same type of x, so I'm just gonna have the x's join one another and I'm gonna add 2x over here. And when I add 2x to negative 1x, I just get x, and I'm done. So in this one, again, I want to see if there's a constant. There's not, so I'm looking again for the bases to be the same. These are. So I can just focus on the exponents. These are the same type of x, so I can just factor. So I need to get um, a by itself, so I'm going to add an a to this side, and that gives me 3a. And that leaves me with 0 over here. And now to solve for a, I would just divide by 3, and that's how I get my answer of a being 0. Uh, next problem. Again, I want the looking for a uh, constant. This doesn't have one. So since the bases are the same, I can just ignore them and focus from here on the exponents. And these are the same type of p, so I can just get p by itself. I'm going to add 2p over here, and that gives me 4p. And now to get p by itself, I'm going to divide by 4, and that gives me the negative 1 fourth. Uh, next problem. Again, these are all very similar. Since the bases are the same, there is no constant. I can just ignore them and focus on the exponents. Again, there's just one type of x, so I want to get x by itself. Bring the 2x by subtracting it to over here, and when I do that, I just get x worth 2. And the last problem. Um, again, there's no constant, but in order to solve this problem, I need it to be one base with an exponent, not two bases. So maybe you notice right now that anything divided by itself, that's just one. So once I do that, now I have a constant. My constant is one. So I'm going to loop it into a log. And this base starts it out, it becomes this base, and I go towards and around the equal sign. So the next number I write is the 1, and then I get the negative 2x. And then I need to go to my calculator. Some of you can just press the math button and type that in. The rest of us will have to do the change of base formula. So when you type that in, you're going to get 0. And now to solve for x, just divide by negative 2, and that's how I get the answer of 0. And our final problem. Again, I want to solve for this. There's not a constant, but I can't do what I did up here until it's just one base, and right now I have two bases of three. So when the bases are the same, I can um, add the exponents. So I'm just writing the exponents up here. So here's the first exponent with the other exponent. That's going to give me negative 4x plus negative 2 as my new exponent of 3. And now that the bases are the same, I can ignore them and just focus on the exponents. And again, do I have to factor? I don't. These are the same type of x. They're both x to the first powers. So to get x by itself, I'm going to actually add 4x to over here. So moving over here. When I add 4x to a negative 1x, that gives me 3x. And now to get x by itself, I divide by 3, and that's how I get my answer of um, 2 thirds. But hold on, I guess that... I have negative two-thirds, so let me just double-check before I... Oh, sorry, I dropped my negative two here. So that's why I have the negative two-thirds. And that's it.